Hey guys, what's going on? Beachhead here, or Jordan, if you want to call me that. So I just wanted to go over a couple of things. Uh, there was a little bit of an announcement today for Summer Game Fest and around the E3 time period, all that kind of stuff leading up to a big, big weekend that we have coming up. Uh, video Game Christmas is what a lot of people refer to it as. So I wanted to at least give my thoughts, check out some of the partners, uh, maybe some of the things that I think we can expect uh, coming into this. And, uh, you know, definitely check out, see what uh, kind of maybe if they're going to have performances, if they're going to have any world premieres, which I'm expecting. Obviously, Jeff Keighley's a, a very, very smart man and uh, gets a lot of things done. So there's definitely going to be some things that I'm looking forward to. Um, my expectations, what's coming forward, what can I expect? What do I think is going to be there? Um, and then tempering those as we go. But I just kind of wanted to run through. Uh, obviously, we got it on June 10th, as you can see right above me, which is going to be absolutely awesome because it's going to be kicking off, I think, everything um, and going just into full full force into the weekend, uh, into E3, into presentations, conferences. Uh, I think I'm, I'm more excited this year than I was last year. Granted, last year's announcements and everything kind of surprised me, if not even... Uh, I, I got more out of them than I even expected I was going to, which was absolutely beautiful. Um, I think a lot of the companies did a great job given the circumstances. So this year, a little bit, little bit of the same going into it for a lot of different places. But um, I know we have a lot of different things that we can look forward to. I'm hoping um, COVID was still a thing for the past year. So definitely don't want to hold this over anybody's head or anything like that. But uh, let's go ahead. Let's look at a couple of these different things, announcements that they have. Um, so we've got the schedules of the events for Summer Game Fest coming up. And the big announcement today was a lot of the different partners, um, a lot of the things that we can look forward to going forward. Uh, so we have June 10th at 11 a.m. Pacific and 2 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, we have a show called Kickoff Live. Jeff Keighley is going to be hosting a spectacular live world premiere showcase with a performance by Weezer, uh, Day of the Devs, and more. So... Those are some things we can look forward to. I know Jeff Keighley, like I said before, Jeff Keighley knocks it out of the park almost every time he steps on stage or gives a presentation. So that's going to be very exciting. Uh, I think there's a lot of cool things that can come out of this. He has a lot of good relationships. Um, and that usually, I mean, Weezer is a big, that's a big name to get to perform live for you anyway. So you know what I mean? Um, so that's exciting. Very, very exciting. If we keep going, June 12th, uh, of course, we all know this isn't necessarily, I don't think, a part of, Summer Game Fest and Jeff Keighley specific events, but you have Ubisoft Forward, um, which is going to be cool. I think I'm looking forward to that, seeing what their new plan is, coming out with all their, their uh, what is it, their shift of how they're going to be developing games and what they're going to be pushing forward. They recently came out maybe a week or two ago with an announcement that they were going to be focusing on more free-to-play, large-scale, high-end, high-quality free-to-play games. Instead of the four to five or three to four to five different AAA games that they've been putting out um, every year or the cycle that they put out. So I'm kind of interested to see what they're going to do there. Um, as far as what what can we expect? I, I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of caught in the air. I'm, I'm holding I'm holding on. To the fact that there's a Splinter Cell announcement somewhere, if they announce that it's free to play. Free to play is kind of I've held off. Um, I'm kind of hesitant when it comes to free to play games. I don't like to, <laughs> I don't like to assume the worst because I do want to see stuff before I actually make any kind of judgment on it. Um, so hopefully that's the case. We'll see some exciting stuff there. Uh, and then of course, going into June 16th, we have the stream or I'm sorry, steam next fest, which is apparently six days long. Um, starting on the 16th of June and hundreds of demos, which is really exciting. Uh, I think that's awesome. Getting, I'm assuming these are going to be smaller games, uh, if not builds that you would have sent, that you would have found at different shows that people would have gone to. So I'm excited about that. I did take place in the the ones of the years past with a lot of different uh, demos that they had. A lot of games that I wouldn't have normally seen or even had a chance to check out. Um, so this is kind of nice as well. And uh, a little bit over a month later, uh, as of what's announced so far, EA Play coming um, on the 22nd of July. Obviously, you know, you'll probably get FIFA, Madden, all the sports games EA uh, does normally. Um, and maybe some surprises. I'm kind of hoping for that. Uh, what's the program they have? Uh, EA Originals, maybe, I think is what it's called, technically. Um, where EA kind of like funds everything, but then they don't actually make anything back on the indie titles that they're, that they're publishing. So that's going to be exciting. I hope to see some cool, cool things come out of there. Um, 
But jumping down here, here is what was announced today. Um, a lot of big names in this list. You know, you've got 2K, Activision. Uh, I'm assuming Amazon Games, uh, Blizzard, Capcom, EA. You've got Epic, uh, Bandai, Namco, um, Sega, PlayStation. We've got Steam, Square Enix is here. Uh, even Xbox right here, which is kind of surprising. Warner Brothers a little surprising, and Ubisoft even with their um big stuff coming up too but not to mention all the other smaller titles that i love um uh, you know annapurna obviously that's good stuff devolver digital high res studios uh lots of lots of good stuff here so these are really really big names that i wasn't expecting necessarily to be this year that e given that e3 is happening uh with uh, with the kind of things that are happening with e3 actually taking place uh, I was surprised to see a lot of these different names here, but I know that these, like I said, Jeff Keeley's got some connections. I think he has respect, uh, if not more than almost anybody else in the industry. So it's it's exciting to see all of these different things coming out and all these big names and publishers and companies and just awesome, awesome, awesome participation, hopefully coming through here. Um, and I did know on Twitter, uh, a lot of different questions here. And the website's fantastic, by the way. And being presented by Prime Gaming is a little interesting. I'm kind of curious how that's going to go. Obviously, that's just going to be their big, um, their big, big sponsor for the for the show, which, of course, you need if you're going to make these things happen. Um, a lot of the different things that I wanted to talk about and kind of scroll up here is um, uh, Jeff Keighley tweeted out today that he's going to. I think there's 12 plus world premieres or uh, brand new games that are coming out, so hopefully announcements, something we haven't seen, maybe some big ones. I'm not expecting heavy hitters here um, just because I know with E3 coming around the corner and there being actual showcases now for companies like, uh, well, I'm sure, you know, PlayStation is going to do their state of play. Uh, Nintendo will probably put together a big direct, even though they're actually going to be involved in E3 this year. Um, which is kind of surprising. I'm very, very surprised at that. Of course, Xbox is going to be putting on their giant showcase um, with also Bethesda. Bethesda is also going to be a part of it too. So with Bethesda being there, Xbox being there, and those two being separate showcases, probably back to back, but going to be separate showcases and take up more time. Um, I'm excited about that. I know, uh, you, of course, you have the Ubisoft forward, which you just mentioned. Um, other things coming up there. We have, I know Square Enix is doing a, a, uh, a conference. I think WB is trying to do at least something, if not have some kind of, um, front and center showcase, hopefully with a lot of their games coming up. Um, so that's why I'm not too hesitant or that's why I am hesitant. I'm sorry to expect heavy hitters here. Um, but I think going into that is healthy. I think doing that is a healthy way to look at it. If you go in expecting the most, you're just only going to set yourself up for disappointment, no matter what show you're going to be checking out. I think also though, if you kind of temper those expectations, you can expect and be surprised. Um, for example, the, the game awards last year, what had the, uh, or not the year before, a couple years ago had, uh, the Xbox series X reveal of what the actual system was going to look like and what everything was going to. Uh, the box itself was revealed at the Game Awards, which is a little bit different. Usually they'll take front and center stage with that. Um, but Mar but Microsoft's been doing a bunch of different things. Um, they're taking a different direction with their marketing, which is exciting. So I am uh, I will be live streaming this. And to catch me live on my uh, Twitch channel, I know this is going up on YouTube, but if you want to catch any live content that we do, uh, we have Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. Eastern time to 3 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, I'm streaming live every day over there. Um, and we have a we have episodes every Friday of split screen, which split screen is what I'm going to be inviting guests on to watch live content with uh, a lot of these conferences. We're going to be checking out and hopefully having a good time there um, and watching those together with you guys on on Twitch, which would be a good time. So if you guys are watching this on YouTube, I'd love to have you over there. Don't forget to hop over there, drop a follow, um, catch us live at 8:30 a.m. Uh, Eastern time and get get a lot of have a lot of fun i'm excited man this is going to be a, a great 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 um summer event i think there's going to be you've got summer game fest e3 uh ubisoft forwards already announced then you have not even a month later uh we still have ea play to look forward to so that's going to be exciting too um but other than that yeah no this has just been my thoughts i think i think we can expect some 
I don't want to say B games because I'm very, very respectful when it comes to that because hard work is hard work no matter what style or uh, AAA, AA, whatever it is, even indie title is coming out. So I think this is going to be an exciting time. A lot of cool announcements I can expect. Uh, Jeff Keighley usually puts on one hell of a show, so that's going to be a good time as well. But, um, yeah, hopefully, if you guys want to catch us over, hey, don't forget, subscribe, drop that, uh, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Leave a comment, drop a like, all that good stuff on the on the video. Um, and like I said, if you want to catch us live, twitch.tv slash beachhead34, 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. So thank you, everybody. We'll see you later. Have a good one.